Did you guys know that in Florida it is illegal to have sexual relations with a porcupine? But that's an actual law that exists in the state of Florida. Don't know what happened there. Hey guys, hey, great that's <laughs> There is a surprise announcement at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So I was scrolling through the app Candy when I came across the political strand of weird laws around the world. Which is what prompted this video. And for those guys that don't know, Candy is a new anonymous app where you can voice your opinions anonymously without having the personal backlash and judgment from other people. And no judgment allows you to have real authentic conversations about politics. Politics, religion, technology, LGBT, weird laws around the world. And speaking of which, I feel like some of these lawmakers have too much fun making laws. To the point that some of these laws make no sense why they were invented in the first place. Which makes you think, what on earth happened to make these lawmakers think this should never happen again? Like in Marshalltown, Iowa, horses are forbidden to eat fire hydrants. What kind of horse will eat a fire hydrant? Was there actually a time in history in Marshalltown, Iowa, where people were just walking around, enjoying their day, then open their eyes and see a random horse in the middle of the road devouring a metal fire hydrant, which made them think, Never again. Did this happen more than once? What do you feed the horses out there? In Chicago, Illinois, it's illegal to eat in a place that is on fire. Okay, true. I kind of understand where this law came from. Because if I was in line at Chipotle, and the place just decided to spontaneously combust, I still would not leave that establishment until I got my Chipotle, okay? Mm -hmm. I in a line at a food establishment. I am hungry, and when I am hungry, I don't think right. Like half of my videos I make early in the morning when I haven't eaten anything yet. And y'all know how crazy I am. <laughs> this was fucking me up right now. Apparently, in Eureka, Nevada, if you have a mustache, it is illegal for you to kiss a woman. I mean, I'm okay with that for reasons, but like, who did some of these laws are downright ironic, too. Like, one time in England, it was illegal for you to commit suicide. But that's not it. Breaking said law was punishable by death. Did they even think it through? And then there's Florida, which is an entire different planet that we should really think about getting rid of. Did you know that in Florida, it is both illegal to have oral sex and sex just in the missionary position? They're trying to control your sex! life out there. If an elephant is left tied to a parking meter, the parking fee has to be paid just as it would for a vehicle. Why are there elephants in Florida, mama? And has this happened more than once? Is Florida really just that office marble. To the fact that when people walked outside and saw an elephant tied to a parking meter, all they cared about was the fact that the parking meter was not paid. What even is Florida? California isn't better either, no. We're banning animals from being animals. In California, it is illegal for an animal to mate publicly within 1,500 feet of a school or place of worship. But when springtime comes along, matey season, in my head, I am just imagining a bunch of cops just waiting, waiting to see two squirrels get their hump on and writing them a ticket, throwing them in jail. <laughs> And then there's the homosexuality law. Yep, it's one of those videos. Did you know that 17 states still have a ban on some type of homosexual behavior? And two states have a ban on homosexuality altogether. Even though not that many people are getting severely punished for breaking these laws, did these states really think that making it a law will stop people from being gay? Oh, I can't have gay sex in 17 states? Then damn it, forget it, I'm gonna be straight. Does that make sense? Also, there there was a point in time where interracial relationships were illegal, and that didn't stop anybody. <laughs> I am thankful that I was born in a time where this country and most people are way more accepting of the LGBTQ community than ever before. But that doesn't mean we don't still have a long way to go. If all you people that are watching are still discovering your sexuality, just remember that no matter what other people say, no matter what your state says, no matter what the federal government says, nothing is wrong with you. You are being perfectly human, trying to find out who you are, trying to find out what you like. And no one's judgment matters but your own. Candid is amazing. It has really opened my eyes to discover that some things don't have to be the way they are. And we decide and act like we have no other choice. And that is what prompted me to make my own candid group, Mac Does It, to be a safe place for you guys to talk about your weird frustrations in life from LGBT issues, politics, how your mother didn't feed you breakfast this morning, and also to occasionally post the weirdest laws you have ever seen in your life. Well, I highly suggest you guys go and download Candid. It is really fun, it's interesting, very informative, and there will be a download link in the description. Now on to the surprise. This surprise is sponsored by Candid, by the way. Just wanna be clear. So people have been telling me that I should start thinking about making merch. Shirts, posters, 
purse, hat, tote bag, all that mess. I am a very picky person about the things I put out into the world. So the process of me making merchandise has been quite slow. I have actually come up with a design that I ended up not really liking, but the shirt has already been printed. Bam! It says Bois in the corner in a little speech bubble because I am adorable. And then I thought, instead of completely just throwing out this shirt, why don't I give it to you guys? Not this exact shirt, like I feel uncomfortable giving you guys something that came off of my body. I will get one reprinted and send it to you guys. So if you want to win the first ever Almost Mac merchandise, oh my gosh, that sounds so pretentious, then this is what you guys need to do. Download Candid, the link will be in the description. Join my Candid group, Mac Does It. Follow me on Twitter. Post a screenshot that shows proof that you follow me on Twitter with your Twitter handle in the description to my Candid group. And next Friday, September 16th, I will announce the winner both in the Candid group and on my Twitter profile. And if you want to share with me any weird or interesting posts you find on Candid, then tweet at me using the hashtag CandidBois and I'll check them out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I think this is going to be so much fun. Don't forget to download Candid in the description below. And also comment down below. What are some weird laws in your state that you know on the top of your head? But anyways, I am Mac. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Bye!